Hey guys, the objectives for this video are to define minor losses, discuss minor losses when entering and exiting pipes, and discuss loss associated with changes in pipe diameter. So minor losses, as we defined them um, two videos ago, they're losses in kinetic energy associated with pipe geometry and changes um, with components. Um, so we, we have what we call a loss coefficient, which we define for our, our minor losses. Um, and that is uh, KL, which is a function of geometry and Reynolds number. And we define the head loss, or the, the minor head loss, component of head loss, equal to KL times V squared over 2G. So this is the formula that we use. Um, and for different scenarios, we have different values of KL, which we sub into this formula here. So it's always got to do um, with that velocity there. Um, so with a pipe entrance, um, you have a graph um, like this. this will always, these graphs will always be given to you um, in an exam situation. So you've essentially just got to, for a certain radius and a pipe diameter, so a radius of your pipe entrance, you'll have a corresponding value for KL, and therefore you can work out the minor head loss. Um, so this here is your pipe diameter, you've got your radius here, so you can work out your KL, and obviously the larger the radius that we have, um, the larger the value of R over D, um, that means that we're going to have um, less